I just remembered to start the recording right now. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so glad that question was right there to remind me. Uh, the next question is, is when you send out the mobile apocalypse email, is that mainly to your existing client or do you harvest emails? I think we just kind of went over that. Um, one of the things I do is, is Collins made it very easy with the OMG Command Center where you can enter in now specific keywords for cities behind them and you can now get a list of uh, those that are not mobile friendly and just kind of reach out to those directly. So I have tested uh, through my existing client base and I've also done cold calling as well and had a tremendous amount of success as well. So next one. Derek, I'm going to throw this one over to you, buddy. It says, sure. do you guys use Social Explosion on all PBN links? Yep, I put that stuff on everything. <laughs> it's like Great. Frank Red Hot Sauce, whatever. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got we got Stephen back. We 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 like asked for for Stephen, and he just kind of disappeared and reappeared like a ghost, man. <clears throat> my, my my internet is is not not friendly to me. We Sorry, can. guys. Right. It says, "Hi, Cotton. Are you building business via referrals only?" Or are you actively soliciting new clients? If how so? Good question. And guys, I specifically do research and development to get new clients for OMG. So I am consistently testing new client getting methods for you guys. I don't need to go out and look for clients anymore. I have got a, I've sold hundreds of clients over the last year. I treated them all efficiently. And I have basically, if it wasn't for, you know, OMG itself and the fact that I am the research and development for client getting and for ways to get clients, I would not even be doing it at this point. Um, I'm strictly doing for my own personal benefit, corporate clients. Uh, I have a lot of corporate clients and, uh, but I do test for about three hours a day. I like cold call and try different methods. And when something works, uh, you know, I run it past a couple people and find out if they're getting the same success and go from there. So I don't believe in doing anything that I don't ask you guys to do. So even though I truly believe that if you've got 10 clients, if you do it right, you don't ever have to go out and look for clients again if you're doing it right. But that still doesn't mean that if you don't want to grow that you need to go out and continue to do uh, new methods, research and development. Guys, as I've always said, and I'll still continue to say it, don't be the guy that waits on the answers. Be the guy that has the answers. And that's what I try to do. I go out and test things, have the answers for you. If I'm not going fast enough for you, Becker brought up one of the most incredible points last week, that if you wait on me, Stephen, Wyatt, Derek, to come up with your answers every week, your growth is going to be very, very, very slow. So you need to take chances on yourself. Think of ideas you can go out and get clients with. And in between, these webinars are just kind of, you know, helpful things that we can do to get you on the right path that you need to be on with creative ideas and other stuff. So Derek doesn't wait around for us <clears throat> to tell him how to do SEO. Do you, Steve? I mean, do you, Derek? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. How long would it take, Derek, if you had to wait around on someone to tell you how to do SEO? Yeah, I'd still be on my first site, I think. Exactly. <clears throat> Steven, do you wait around on, for anyone to tell you what to do? <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, of course I watch everything in OMG, you know, right. put out. But no, I'm not waiting around. Right, Wyatt, did you have an angel just float down to your bed and tell you that you need to start DMing out? No, nope. All, all <laughs> testing, failure, and, and trial. Right. Trial and error. You know what, Wyatt? That's a great question. How much have you failed versus how much have you succeeded? Oh God. Um. A lot of failure, <laughs> probably like nine five percent. Yeah, but you know it's at five percent. It's pretty sweet, guys. Once you listen to that, Stephen would say the same thing. Derek would say, Derek, are you successful with every SEO method that you test? I uh, know lots, <laughs> well, almost eighty nine percent of them crash and burn. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, what about you, man? Are you successful with client getting method SEO all the time? No, 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 no. Not, not, not even close. And I've been, I've been doing SEO client getting for about 11 years now. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell you what, I have gotten, I've got a wealth of data available on how not to get clients. 
if anybody <laughs> would ever like to read that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, and guys, I want to let you know, I I know Wyatt, I know Derek, and I know Stephen very well. I'm going to tell you what they are doing. They're working relentlessly. They're working relentlessly. I get messages from Stephen at 11 o'clock. Derek and I have been up chatting back and forth at 2 o'clock in the morning. I see Wyatt's posts. I know Wyatt works late. Wyatt's a crazy workaholic. I'm like working from – Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would not. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how late were you working last night, Wyatt? And I haven't even asked you. Oh, man. I don't think I went to sleep until like 4 in the morning, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, guys, if you want to get the recipe to success – Listen to the guys here, and I literally put in a minimum of 12 to 15 hours a day, and seven days a week normally. And you know, I'll like go to the gym and come back and stuff. So when you want to know, is it easy for us? You know, Wyatt will tell you it's not easy. Stephen will tell you it's not easy. Derek will mm-hmm. tell you it's not easy. Guys, it's not easy for me. We just work harder than anyone else does to try to get these answers for you. So it's the amount of time that you're putting in and the amount of commitment that you want to make it work. There's not a doubt in my mind. If you want to make it work, you can make it work. So we will go to the next question. Looking for some good Excel templates or anything else to keep me organized. Any suggestions starting to grow beyond sticky notes? You guys have anything to add? I mean, it, it depends on you know which part. Um, I like to use... Uh, base camp or free camp for uh, project management stuff. Right. Um, but but stuff that typically and I use Trello for uh, outsourcers uh, and projects also. But as far as stuff that typically you put on a spreadsheet, man, I wish I had a better way. I still have massive, crazy, big spreadsheets. Yeah. What about you, Derek? What do you use to track links and other stuff? Um, for tracking links, I'm pretty much I still use just spreadsheets. Um. But yeah, I use Trillo for using like doing my DAS stacks. Mm-hmm. Um, it's mostly just to keep organized, like like where what stage I'm at, and like if I'm setting social at or ordering articles, kind of thing like that, something like that, you know, mm-hmm. just kind of slide it to the next tab. And <clears throat> but I'm also doing you know 15 to 20 DAS uh, diagrams at a time. So mm-hmm. why you have any advice for people staying organized that uh, we haven't covered? Uh, I am not the person to ask. <laughs> I, mean, I second base camp for project management, but uh, as far as everything else goes, I probably have like 300 text files just all over the place. And so, yeah, not not me. I'm not the one. Hey, Cotton. Yes. Can I, can I throw in one thing? Oh, sure. Um, you know, the best advice that I can give to someone about staying organized is actually has nothing to do with spreadsheets. The best advice I can give you, and this is not me speaking. This is uh, people who are much smarter than me speaking. Uh, figure out what your most important things are that you need to get done and schedule those things first. Okay, so, you know, I know that's not a spreadsheet answer, but as far as being organized and, and you know, achieving your goals, that's one of the things that I've been doing for a long, long, long time. And again, I didn't create it, but if you can just sit down with yourself and say, you know, what's the most important thing that I get done today? What's the absolute, you know, most important thing and schedule that first. Knock it out of the way. And then that way, you know, you're going to be spending, you know, the appropriate amount of time on, you know, spend most of your time on the important tasks and a little bit of time on the non-important tasks. Great. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, the next question, I want to scroll all the way down past all the numbers here, and it says, uh, either Derek, you or Steven here, since, since Google ranks pages instead of a website, should we have social media on each page? Derek, you want – can I do that one? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, um, one of the biggest things that I think people overlook, uh, period, that has to do with ranking pages, and this is really more specifically for um, like what I would call landing, like city or you know area landing pages. One of the biggest things that I think people leave off that's a big mistake is the on-page social signals, meaning that you have the buttons on there so people can like you, follow you, share you, tweet you, you know, pin you, all that stuff. So most people, what they focus on is is sending external signals, you know, back to your page. So you know they'll go to SendWire or they'll go to OnlyWire or any of these other services, and they'll put their link in it, and that shoots a link to your site. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's completely different uh, in Google's eyes than let's say you have you know a Google Plus button on your web page. 
If a, if a person who's logged into Google goes to that page and clicks that plus button, it carries you know a tremendous amount of weight uh, compared to you know some external you know favor or you know fiber blast of you know Facebook likes or whatever. So you know having the social uh, interaction stuff on your page, uh, I would say, is extremely important, um, especially the more you plan on pl playing games with that page. So if you're, you know, sending links to that page, if it's an inner page and it may not have a lot of authority yet, or the domain doesn't have a lot of authority, then having some really quality social signals on that actual page can can make it, you know, uh, a lot more tolerant to, you know, some of the more you know, uh, uh, risky techniques or advanced techniques and stuff like that. Because, you know, Google knows you can go order a fiber pack. You know, they're not stupid. They know you can go order a fiber pack. But getting someone to actually visit your page and click on the little like button, you know, when they're logged in, that is a whole separate thing. There's much more involved in that. So I, I would say that it's, it's absolutely something that you would want to do. Plus you want to get the traffic from when you have someone liking or visiting your site, you should have traffic to match the social signals. Yeah, good point. Well, yeah, that's very important. Like, I, I always make sure I have traffic going to a, a web page before I start blasting with social. Absolutely. <clears throat> yep. Great advice. Great advice. Next question is, hey, Cotton, on your site, you guarantee a page one ranking for your clients or your money back. Does that mean you guarantee their website on page one, or could it be citation, social media, or video instead? Thanks. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't ever bring it up unless they ask, and if they want to bring it up, it's anything. Uh, I, I don't want you to spend too much time focusing on it, but uh, I'm very tricky about it as long as it touches page one, even for 15 minutes. So that's all I guarantee. So uh, you're going to be able to get a YouTube video there. You're going to be able to get something there. And I'm, I don't – I, I make that known also that, that, that I'll get something on page one. I've never had a client unhappy with me, and I've never not got something on page one that stayed there. So that's why I do it. So if I didn't think I could do it, I wouldn't do it. If you don't think that you can get whatever client that you are to page one, chances are you need to study your SEO, or you don't be doing. You don't. You don't need to be doing SEO. There's, it's just a matter of time and patience. And if you frame them right. You, you, if you ought to be able to know when you're working how long it's going to take to work certain things after a certain period in your SEO. I know exactly how long it'll take me to rank any client that I get, and I give them a window w within 60 days. And I like to say this is going to take anywhere between six and eight months to complete. And if we get done faster, then that's great. And uh, generally, I always get there. But I haven't had a lot of clients ask me that any anymore, uh, you know, about the guarantee or anything like that. And I don't bring it up. I let them bring it up. So if they say, can you offer me a guarantee? I'll say yes on page one for either your website, YouTube video, Facebook, Twitter, or something. I will guarantee that. Never not delivered. So hopefully that answers your question. My next question is about IFTTT strategy. How do you connect YouTube and the recipes as it's not included in the channel? And I suppose. You only set videos to post on YouTube channel, also other 2.0 like LiveJournal and how to connect them with Gmail. Hey, Cotton, I threw a, uh, I threw a link in there that should answer that question. Okay. Great. Guys, Stephen just answered the question for you. So we can move on to the other one. Russ Lentz, why he doesn't believe that you're 19? <laughs> he says you got to be older than 19, man. You just have to be. Nineteen and a half. Right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe they like. <laughs> he doesn't believe you, Wyatt. He doesn't believe you. So I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and upload my birth certificate. <laughs> We're gonna have Wyatt Gate go on. What is it? <laughs> the next question is, and we will throw this to you, Wyatt. This is a Wyatt question right here. The top three All tips. Right. The top three tips to rock it with Facebook ads. Top three tips. Huh. All right. Um, first of all, I would uh, always start out without building out, you know, a complete funnel. Before I do any of that, I would just focus on the two things: your ad and your landing page. Uh, that way, you don't waste a lot of time to get up and running. 
and uh, I would always start out with testing at least a few ads and maybe even different, a couple different landing pages. Just so right out of the gates, you'll have, uh, you'll, you'll be able to get a control that's, you know, hopefully converting. If not, you got to go back to the drawing board. But definitely starting out with multiple variations and uh, not building out the whole funnel. Because trust me, I've made that mistake where I'll spend a month building something out and then it doesn't even convert. The very first piece of it doesn't even convert, so it's just a complete waste. Um, so I'll always start out just by testing that that little bit that only takes me a few hours to get up and running. That way I can continue and tweak from there. Uh, top three tips, I don't really know. <laughs> no, 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 dude. That, I guess that was one tip. Yeah, well, no, that was several tips combined into one tip. All right, all right, cool. Several, several tips. That's a whole other webinar anyway. So you Yeah, that's that's a lot of info. Yeah, exactly. You like... You like gave the $500 answer there in about 30 seconds, so it's good stuff. All right. Uh, the next question is, I'm brand new to OMG, less than a week, still listening to videos and overwhelmed with information. Is this webinar right for me? All OMG webinars are right for you. So we're going to go over be beginner stuff, advanced stuff. Assimilation webinars, guys, if you're brand new, uh, 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 assimilation webinars are going to be a little more advanced, but it doesn't mean that you can't listen to them. Um, I would really listen to Greg and Fletch in their office hours. Uh, Network Empire, myself. Uh, Joe is very good to listen to as well. He's amazing. Uh, we like are kind of in between. I, I, I'd like to say that Network Empire is for the more advanced people that uh, you know want to get a little bit more uh, information out of SEO after they're seasoned a little bit. And I'd say that we're probably right in about the middle. But we try to show you new things every week. We're going to be more of client getting, how to make money quickly with like SEO. So if you're new, that's what we do here. So um, if you're not familiar with me, if you came in, you've probably seen me on the webinars uh, to, to like come in. So you probably already know a little bit about me and we've already talked about everyone else, but I'm just a guy that's just running the webinar. That's all you need to know. Uh, it says here, the next question, how do people, how to get people to open email from mobile apocalypse? <laughs> uh, write an engaging uh, uh, headline. Uh, that's that's a question that can lead into about fifty different things, guys. I have to research. Look, it like basically took me when we're talking about how everyone works so much. I like know that Stephen and Wyatt and D Derek and I act like that everything comes easy to us. It took me over a hundred emails to get the right subject line and to get the right sales copy before I knew what was going to work. Guys, you got to be patient. If you really think that, that, that Wyatt, me, Steven, and Derek are just magic, that what we do is we write one email once and we send it out. Wyatt goes, you know what? I'm going to take on GoToWebinar. And just, it just happens. Just magically, just all the code comes in front of Wyatt's eyes. It just it, it doesn't happen like that. Wyatt, how many tests – Test have you already blown up so far? Oh man, well put it this way, it took about three months just to go through patents and figure <laughs> out workarounds. See, so. it's a, this is what I'm like talking about, guys. Nothing's gonna happen overnight, and that's what I want to encourage a lot of you that are brand new and a lot of you that are here that are struggling. If you think that you're just going to write up emails and you're just gonna go, you got to test and just why it to, to to like get the right Facebook ad. How many should you have going at once? Typically starting out like three to five, but then always testing from there. So yeah, you're always testing. You're never going to have the magic winner. You know, you're always going to be able to beat it. So right. you can always improve. Exactly. Guys, it's the same way that I'm going to tell you with emails. I, I'd like, once you, why wouldn't you think that sending an email out to a client about this mobile update is kind of similar to Facebook ads? You got to keep testing and find out what's working. Send out so many, see what your response are, what your open rates are and everything. Isn't it a little similar now that I think about it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I would compile like an initial list and I would segment the list and test a few different emails and just find out out of those few which one's the best. And now you have a control at least. Mm -hmm. You can continue to test from there. You know what? Come to think of it, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now that I just thought about it, how stupid am I? The person that's had more experience and even than anyone that's on this webinar right now is Wyatt to get emails to open. He, he's consistently doing that. Uh, but Wyatt, what does it take to write a winning email? I mean, how long do you have to go through 
to like get a winning email to have people open up when you're actually trying to reach an audience or when you're trying to sell something. Hmm. I think uh, I think Barack Obama tested like eight thousand eight hundred email subject lines or something like that mm -hmm. uh, for his campaign. But so it, literally, I mean, you could continuously do it forever. Um, but I mean, sometimes y you just get it completely wrong. We could go into huge, right. huge talk about you know copywriting and subject lines and all that. But I mean, I don't know exactly what you're using, Cotton. Mm -hmm. I would guess that some kind of like curiosity based um, fear of loss subject line exactly exactly you were hundred percent right mm -hmm. cool yeah so so guys if if, if like this information has been helpful to you that you're hearing what what why it's got to go through because I'm gonna be honest with you there's no one that sends out more emails than than, than Wyatt of all four of us on the webinar right now that I can tell you for certain um, a lot of you guys don't even know this but why it has sold is his help bring in uh how many members did you bring into omg the last time that you were here like two or three hundred close to that uh i think just under 200 yeah right yeah why it why it was awesome. able to with his list and and with webinars able to bring in 200 new omg members back to last time that he promoted us and uh so why it's a perfect person to tell you it's you're just not – has it ever happened, Wyatt, maybe once or twice that you wrote one email, sent it out, and it was just magic. It worked, and you didn't have to do anything else. Has that ever happened to you? Maybe a couple times I've gotten lucky right out of the gates, but <laughs> it's it's usually always you're going to have to test, and you're going to have to figure out – because nothing ever makes sense. Like you think it's you, – you know, you're logical, and you're like, this should work, and then it's just – the complete opposite thing that actually ends up working. So really, you just have to test, and that's the only answer. Guys, if, if, if this makes sense to you about how to do this, give me a hashtag, makes sense. Makes sense, because I want you to, why it is just, you just make sense. And I've had to test a lot of them. If you understand that to get things to work with SEO, with client getting, with email lines of subject lines, if you haven't failed or tested a tremendous amount of times, you need to do more. So, guys, come on. I want to make sure that everyone understands this that makes sense. You've got to test. you got to continue to test. Derek continually tests. Steven and I continue to test. Wyatt has just said he tested for three months trying to get workarounds. And you know what? I know with this software that he's got coming out that he probably, and you heard him, he fails 95% of the time. So, guys, it isn't about – it's that 5%, that 2%. That's what I want to do. That's where the success is at. So how would you like to be Wyatt for three months just trying to do workarounds to get his software going? And Wyatt knows that it's going to be worth it. And there's, going to, there's a big payoff, and that's what you have to do as well. So continue to test, 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 and don't give up. If, if there's someone out there making money off of SEO, and if you're not, the reason is they're continuing to test and work harder. So that's all I can tell you. So, guys, if it makes sense, give me a hashtag makes sense in there. We want to make sure that everyone understands this. So when you ask questions, hey, how are you getting stuff to work? I want you guys knowing you're going to have to test, 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 and test. So does – Stephen, does that look like we're having a lot of people that actually – is making sense. They're like a little slow with this, aren't they? Come on, guys. Yeah. We we have we have almost 300 people on here, and no one this like doesn't make sense to everybody. Come on, guys. Come on. Let Wyatt know that you're at least picking up what he's throwing down, man. There we go. Yeah, and the stuff, guys. You know, if you if you're watching uh, in the Facebook group, you know, we kind of segued a little bit, you know, into the mobile deal that we've been talking about. There's a ton of people that are making a killing with this right now. There's a ton of people that are making a killing. So it's not even like if you look and say, well, you know, sure, Cotton can do it because he's Cotton. There's a bunch of people in here that are people that join. I mean, there's a couple that joined like this month or last month, and they're already making money with this. And they did exactly what we just said. You know, they just went out, took that massive action, you know, and, and they learned from their failure. They learned from their mistakes and, and moved on. Exactly. And, you know, it just goes to the next question. It's, uh, hold, hold on. It says, just shows you to move to the, oh, great. Uh, 
how long do you call between the email and the phone call? What do you do between you? Guys, test it. What works for you might not work for me. Uh, I like test it differently every time. Sometimes it's just a matter of what my schedule is. I'll send the emails out. I'll get a phone call in from Mike. Uh, I'll like, get a phone call in from a client. I'll, you know, I'll like have to do some SEO real quick. It's like, oh, crap. You know, I better chase those emails and I'll have to go back and do it. So there's not an exact science to any of this. It's, it's, some of it's random. So just test and find out what works good and let us know what's working for you. So, you know, if someone's not out there testing, guys, what if there was no Derek's? What if there was no Wyatt's? What if there was no Stevens? Where would we be? Seriously. I mean, if Wyatt wasn't out there pushing the boundaries of where we're at, where would we be? I mean, so be a little bit more like Steven, be a little bit more like Derek, be a little bit more like Wyatt. That's my advice to you. These guys are out there nose to the grind and, and, and just working hours and hours and hours. And, and that's how you get success. It says, Cotton, your audio is garbled. Okay. Thank you. It says, uh, how much would you charge to mobilize their website? Stephen, I'll let you answer that one. Or Stephen, Stephen got bumped off again. Okay. Uh, guys, whatever you want to charge for it, you got to do, once again, we're like on this common sense stuff right now. Guys, you're... There is no right answer. You can use SEO splitting for it. You know, if you want to get your foot in the door, charge them $19, $50, $100. I've seen someone that just posted an OMG today that charged $1,500. Guys, every client is very different. And I don't go in with set prices and I don't go in with pricing menus. What I do is, is based upon my conversation with them, based upon what I see with the discovery form, based upon I see what their business is doing with advertising, then I come up with my own price of what I feel it's worth to them to get it fixed. I'm not always charging the same thing for everything straight across the board. Use your common sense with this and, and just charge whatever you feel is a benefit. There are some people that I don't charge anything to because I feel they're going to be a greater asset to bring me referrals than I are charging them a, a couple hundred dollars for a mobile site or I feel that they have connections. It's more valuable to me than charging $2,000 for SEO because they're a small mom and pop shop. So that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. So just use your judgment on this. There is no cookie cutter answer that I know that you're looking for that you want to hear. Test, 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 and adapt to every situation to how it best fits. It says, uh, Cotton, where is the training on that? I have no idea what you're talking about. So if you'll ask that question again, uh, where in OMG can we learn the mobile strategy? I'm new to OMG. Uh, you'll have to go back through and watch all the assimilation webinars that are uh, in the replay section under my coaching section, either in Project Breakthrough or Director's Cut. These are things that are just right inside of the assimilation webinars. I don't know the exact date. There, you know the exact date that we started going over mobile? We've been doing this for like a month now. I think we've been doing it for the, yeah, the whole month. So, yeah, so, right. Uh, I don't know. I, what it'd be. Yeah, maybe three weeks ago or something. You can go back that far and just kind of scrub through it and see what you find. But we've been talking about mobile apocalypse for a very, very long time, about a month. So just get caught yeah. up on the assimilation webinars and watch your replay, and uh, you'll be even. I sold one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't get that income report, man. Come on. <laughs> We need that yeah, income. It's, just, report, it's right? totally random, too. <laughs> That's funny. There, there, there you go. Uh, next question is, Google Services is playing catch-up to compete with Amazon service, which is advertising mobile business providers. Yes, they are. Uh, it says, Cotton, if you've acquired 30,000 a new client, can you give us a better understanding of what your day-to-day -day activities look like, your hour-by-hour -hour routine? They're random every day. Guys, I don't – why – I want you to kind of help me with this. Is your days random or sure. are they all the same? Definitely random. Um, I mean, I like to schedule it out, but it's it's really kind of like Steven said earlier where, you know, you got to prioritize and figure out what's most important to get knocked off for the day. But it, it's always changing, obviously, right. and um, it's not going to be the same every single day. Whatever's most important you need to take care of, that's what I like to do. I like to um, – 
outsource it and also you know use mm -hmm. any of my team members when I can because obviously that frees up my time so I can be creative and whatnot. But mm -hmm. for the most part, it's it's always changing and really it just comes down to prioritizing. Are you like me and get distracted easy? Like you could be working on something and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, and then you know you're doing that for 30 minutes and then you forgot what you were doing 30 minutes before. Are you like that? Absolutely. So yes. am I. But right. And so to me to plan out my day, I have an idea of what I'm going to do when I wake up, but it never goes that way. Never. And Derek, what about you, man? Are, are all your days the same or are they entirely random? Uh, they're, I mean, they're, yeah, they're pretty random. I mean, some days I have <clears throat> lots of consultations or whatever, and then I have to plan around that. So mm -hmm. and then, you know, I just catch up on the rest of the work and then, uh, you know, having kids at home. So, I gotta right. work around them too. So, absolutely. I mean, that could that could be different if you got a sick kid or yeah. you know something comes up. You got to be somewhere, right? Uh, so, w what I'm here to tell you is is that I would love to be able to tell you what my day to day, hour to hour looks like. It is literally so random that every day is entirely different. Some days I wake up and I'm like, I want to go to the gym first day. Some days I wake up and I immediately start with client phone call. Some days I'm doing SEO. Some days I'm doing research and development. The beauty of working for yourself is, is you do whatever you want at that moment. And that's kind of how I do it and let my desires kind of lead me around everywhere. And just as Wyatt and Steven said, what is most important, what is most important is what I try to get done. So, uh, you know, like right now, I like know that the most important thing that I have to get done before tomorrow is I've got uh, – two clients that uh, have like asked me for proposals and it's very rare that clients ask for proposals. So I've got two of those to do before tomorrow. So that's at the top of my list to get done, but I don't have a schedule. So I, I just get done whatever needs to get done. I'm always staying busy. So I would love to be able to tell you that here's a map, wake up, do this, do that. And you're going to be successful. But as you can hear from people that are successful, Steven, how's your day, buddy? Is it the question was, they want a step by step, hour by hour of my routine, and I'm and we 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 we've all said it's random. What about you? Yeah, so I'm gonna be the oddball here, and I'm gonna blame this <laughs> on the United States Army. All right, so I'm I'm putting I'm putting the blame firmly on the United States Army because what I found out was that when I was in the Army and my day was very regimented, um, that I was uh, more effective than any other point in my life. So. I do have a daily schedule. Um, I have a. I get up at the same time every morning. I, I spend a certain amount of time every morning, uh, you know, doing the exact same things. But when it gets to my work day, um, that is going to be exactly like what you guys said. Um, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to look at what's most important to get done, and I'm going to make sure that that gets done first. Um, one key, though, I think uh, that helps at least me, um, you know, I don't answer emails until a certain point in the day, usually afternoon. So normally I don't even open you know, my uh, emails until after 12. So that gives me a certain period of time every day where I can kind of get to things. And you know, I don't have any clients right now that are you know, like the, the sky is going to fall if they don't get a hold of me in 10 minutes. You know, I'm not curing cancer here. So you know, anything that my clients have to ask me or any potential uh, clients or anything like that can wait till after 12. So yeah, so pretty much like you guys as far as work. You know, I just want to put one more thing out there as well. I think it changes uh, kind of as you grow. You know, when you're first getting started, obviously, Cotton, you're on a different level than the person who may be asking that question. I'm not sure. But mm -hmm. when you're first getting started, you're going to be doing things that you might not be doing at a higher level. Uh, so it might take up more of your time. You know, if you can't pay for a $5 Fiverr gig, kind of like the position I was when I got started a while ago, then you have to take the time to go through and do that. And then as you grow, maybe you start doing more big picture things and focusing on uh, only the important things. You're right. 100% right. And, uh, you, you know, I'm going to follow that back up with the next question, which is directed at you, Wyatt. It says, hi, Wyatt. I'm just getting started. Where would you go if you were in my shoes? I know nothing about Internet marketing. That's a that's an age old question right there. Mm -hmm. um, Could be a segment. What I would what I would recommend is whatever you think is interesting, whatever these guys are teaching in OMG, first of all, uh, it works. It, it may not work for everyone, and that's just because you know they haven't tried hard enough or they haven't tested enough or they haven't stuck with it. So 
pick something that's interesting to you and really just commit to it. And uh, you, you're going to have to work hard and you have to stay committed and obviously uh, be dedicated to making it work. And if you do that, I mean, you'll make it work. That's I think that's how everyone I know has gotten started. Cotton, you know, obviously it wasn't happening for you right away when you got started, but you know what, you stuck with it. Uh, you were doing the same thing. You picked one thing, went with it, and then it started working. And that's the same for me. And I could go around and name countless examples of other, you know, successful people, and that's just always how it starts. You know what? You, you know what? Why you just brought up a really, really viable point. And one of the things that I think that could be a problem for a lot of volunteers, a lot of people when they first start in their marketing, is is they assume that when they don't have immediate success, even after a week or a couple of weeks, that they need to change a course of action. And you just brought up a very viable thing I just never thought about is I never changed. I continue to grind and grind and grind because I believed in what I was doing. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you're never going to be successful. And if you keep bouncing from, oh my God, I'm going to rank for you know New York SEO, and then all of a sudden, oh, I'm not moving fast enough. I'm going to do this, you know, this affiliate site. Oh, uh, oh, why it's got this cool Facebook ads I can try. Oh, and then this. And you're just bouncing around like a pinball, you know, from like thing to thing to thing, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. You don't give things a long enough time. You can't become an expert in two weeks. This is what I find amazing about internet marketing is that I was able to make more money in the last year than doctors will working five years. Then, and I didn't have to go to school for it. I didn't have to go put in four years. I didn't have to get $75,000 in debt a year from just an average university. But what I did do is I put in 90 to 120 days of intense studying and a foundation being built. I gave myself time. And I, I like hear a lot of OMGers say, I need to make money right now. I knew that that was the wrong answer for me when I first came into OMG. I wasn't about making money right now. It was about making money down the road. I had to invest in myself to make money down the road. And even today, Wyatt, doesn't that hold true for you and your success that you're, you're investing time because you know that you're going to get it returned? Isn't that kind of what everything you're you just said. Yeah. Everything you just said was – Completely true, hundred percent. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I mean, look at Wyatt. He's 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 working. Wyatt, till the time you get this out, how much time would you have invested in it before you'd have seen one cent returned? Oh, um, about a year. Wow, a year. And and a lot and a lot of money wasted along with not wasted, of course, invested. Oh, sure. But uh, right, right. And how do you know when to keep going? And how do you know when to stop? That's what everyone else is going to say. Uh, you know, if you if you believe it, it's, it goes back to what you said. You have to believe that it's going to work. And um, if you keep just changing your course of action, mm -hmm. then you're never you're never going to be able to turn that belief into certainty. You, like you need to, in order to continue to grow and have more success, I think at least um, the best way to do that is to prove yourself right. So you set out to go do something and you achieve that and now you, you know, you boost your self-confidence and you, you say, you know, this does work. I've had success with it. Uh, I stuck with it and I got results. And so that's why I think it's really important just to stick with something if you truly believe in it. And then um, once you, you achieve that, obviously your belief just gets higher and higher and, and allows you to just go out there and dominate it and expand scale and do all these great things. Right. Guys, if you know if this has kind of helped you and in your new, and if you've been not focused long enough on something, please just if anything we said can help you, give me a hashtag clear. I want to make sure that everyone is a hundred percent clear on like what we're saying. And we we have close to three hundred people on here. Let's at least get one hundred and fifty of these guys. Know that what Wyatt said. What I've said, guys, I had to put down a foundation. I stick with one thing, and I don't let go of it. If I believe in it, if you don't believe in what you're doing, you have to have a clear path and don't get your blinders on and keep digging in and know that it's going to take some time. I know this. Three months doesn't seem like a lot, 
But when you're studying, and there's a question on here, it says, Cotton, when you dug in your initial 90 days, how much time did you estimate you spent on an average study? That's a great question. I made, now this is when I was regimented like Steven, because I figured that I didn't deserve to have any free time. I didn't deserve anything. I needed to work because my back was up against the wall. I was up at 7 a.m. I was studying at 7.30 a.m. And I didn't stop until midnight. And I literally only took off a couple hours a day. If I was out on a run, if I was out on the gym, I had my phone logged into OMG and I was listening to Greg's office hours. I was listening to Fletch. I was listening to the, I've listened to every video in OMG three times. And I did that consistently. And I would take off time I, I, after about two or three weeks and I started to get it. Then I started doing websites and I started to have a video up on one screen and following on another one, doing action, taking action. But guys, you got to stay on that clear path and you can't give up. A lot of people give up and just remember this. Would you love to make $10,000 a month if you're not 90 days from now by putting in the work? Or do you want to go to school for four years and not even be guaranteed to have a job? Not even guaranteed to have a job? Sure. Can I add this? Sure. Guys, and, and, uh, if, if Greg is on this webinar, then uh, I hope he understands my heart for what I'm about to say on this. Um, guys, it, all of you who know Greg Morrison, does he strike you as like a crazy genius? Like like he's like smarter than everyone else? Or, or does he strike you more as just like your average guy? You know, give me a one if you think crazy genius. Give me a two if you think just, you know, just your average hardworking guy. Okay? I, I shouldn't be seeing a bunch of twos there. All right? Yeah, there we go. Bunches of twos, bunches of twos. What I want to tell you is that, you know, if you follow Greg Morrison SEO, if you do what he tells you to do, you're going to get the result that he gets. He, there, there's no trick. There's no secret. Greg doesn't, doesn't like, do one thing and teach you something else. He does exactly – if you do exactly what Greg does, you're going to get results like Greg does. So if you're new to this, if you're just starting out, you know my wholehearted advice is ignore everything in OMG uh, except Sink or Swim and Greg uh, as far as like you know learning the SEO like Cotton did. And then once you think you can do some ranking, then, then move on and get some client getting you know, stuff. You know, but, but don't think – you know, Cotton is a fantastic salesperson. Okay, he's an exceptional salesperson, um, and you know, and part of that's trained, and part of that is is natural talent. Okay, but what Greg is doing uh, is something that everyone that's on this webinar can do, and and the reason why is because Greg is a great teacher. He breaks things down and makes it very simple. Um, you know, and and so you know, again, I would just uh, you know caution you, you know, from looking at all these peripheral things that are going on. Stick with tried and true. Dance with the one that brought you. Greg Morrison SEO started this deal, uh, and I think that if you add up the dollars, there's more people that have made, you know, their first dollars and their most dollars, you know, doing what we do, doing client SEO, getting clients, ranking them, and getting paid. So um, again, you know, if, if Greg, if you're on here, I'm, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying by that. Personally, I think Greg's a genius, but to uh, <laughs> but, but to illustrate my point, and I hope you guys got what I was saying. Oh, good. I like to agree with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a normal guy. I'll just outwork you to death. There exactly. is there is no way. You won't take my number one positions. I will stay up day and night to take you down. It's determination and time and will and, and sheer force that you're not going to take me out. And focus. Yeah. There's, there is, there is, there's a lot of people that are more talented than me at SEO. I think Derek is, but Derek might not have the ability to work as long as I am. That's right. I mean, he, I mean, he, he I'm, I'm not saying that he doesn't, but I just know that I will do whatever it takes to do that. And, and guys, please, there's, there's literally only about 20 or 30 people here that put clear down. There's 300 people on the webinar. We're not even going to move forward until everyone has got this message with a hashtag clear. Please, I want to know that you've understood this. So when you start asking these questions, if you haven't tested, if you haven't been working your ass off, that's what's wrong. And, and please, guys, there is 300 people on here. and We can only get, what, 20 people say clear? We're just going to wait. 
and then we're going to segue into Wyatt. So, guys, come on, show us that you understand. We want to make sure that everyone understands this, everyone's benefited from this. This is the success. We're giving it to you. You're hearing it from Wyatt, who sold millions of dollars with the software. Steven has made millions of dollars with the SEO. Derek is a mystery. He won't tell me how much money he makes, but I do hear he owns a small <laughs> island somewhere in South America. Is this true, Derek? I, I think I think Derek might have just stepped out for just a minute. He did? Um, well, yeah. Right. So, but, so, so, right. And, and, and then, guys, here's, here's like something I've already shared on a webinar. I've already cleared a million dollars in 2015, and that is net. This isn't Amazon numbers to where I'm saying, oh, I've done a million. No, I've netted profit $1 million in 2015 already. So it, these, this is viable information to you guys. So we just want to make sure that everyone is crystal clear about the work ethic and what has to be done to get there. So my whole point is if you want to be in that same position, that's the mind frame that you have to have. That's the mind frame that you need to have. So we've like got a lot of those guys. If you see all the clears coming in there, Wyatt, I think you got through to him, man. I think you got through to him. Yeah, I think it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So with that, Stephen, is there anything you want to add or Wyatt before we unleash Wyatt on everybody? Yeah, I just want to say I'm excited to listen. So am I. Guys, trust me when I say this. I think we covered a lot of big picture stuff. Yeah. Guys, trust me when I say this. Get out your notes. Get out your notes. Leave your Facebook open because I promise you this. You're going to get a hashtag mind blown as you always do every assimilation webinar. So Wyatt, my friend, we're going to turn it over to you. Uh, you're already the organizer. You can take control of the screen anytime you want. And uh, I'm excited to see what everyone's going to think about this because it's pretty mind bending what you're going to go over. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and show my screen. Sure. Uh, all right, guys, give me a one in the chat box if you can see my screen. All right, cool. All right, so before I jump into this presentation, uh, I just want to let you guys know a couple things. First of all, we'll probably run through this pretty quickly. Uh, it, it's a simple method, but it's extremely powerful and something that uh, a few of my members are using to make their first money, but uh, also good money at the same time. So I like showing stuff that can be implemented right away because I'm all about action and stuff that people can go out there and get results. Because like we were just talking about, it really just helps your your belief system. If you can go out there and you know bring on your first client or make your first affiliate sale, it really just fuels that fire. So that's kind of the point of this presentation. We're going to run through it pretty quickly. We just covered a ton of like huge, big picture, long-term stuff. And uh, so I want to let you know that this is not big picture, long-term stuff. Okay. You have to understand that this is something that could really go away at any point. This is kind of a loophole. Uh, it's really cool. You can make money with it, but I just want you to know that before we go into this whole thing. With that being said, I do have some cool stuff to show you. So what we're going to be talking about uh, and you may have heard of a different version of it, but it's basically a YouTube rental method. And I'm going to show it to you with a bit of a twist. So a quick overview of what we're going to be covering. We're going to be going out there and finding untapped local niches with lower search volume. So basically keywords that are extremely easy to rank for. And then we're going to rank a short YouTube video, simple, easy to create. Uh, and then we're going to be ranking it for that keyword using 301 redirects with spammier links going to those 301 redirects and uh, that allows us to literally rank in a couple of days and we've tested it on some pretty competitive niches but the point of this method is that we're going after lower volume non-competitive niches all right so then we're going to go ahead and put a call tracking number very easy to get i'm sure you guys know about it being an omg but you just put a call tracking number right in front of the youtube title so it's the first thing and uh that's what people are going to call if they're searching for, for that keyword. Then we're going to send a few free leads to a potential client. right? So basically, we're going to be looking on Google. Typically, we're going to be finding people who, businesses who are running ads, preferably, uh, for that search term. 
and we're just going to send them a few leads if possible. You know, it all depends on how much traffic that keyword is actually generating. If it's really low search volume, probably not going to be generating a lot of leads. But we're going to send a few free leads to a certain business and basically call them back up and say, you know what, I hope you liked those free leads. If you want more, you have to pay. Really simple concept. And then we switch out the phone number uh, for a monthly rental fee. So give me a four if you understand the 30,000 foot overview of this, this method. All right, sweet. Awesome. And the great thing is you can literally set these videos up from start to finish uh, in 30 minutes or less. So you can whip these out like crazy. So the loophole is here right now. I would take advantage of it. It's kind of fun. It's almost like a game and it can make you some, some pretty cool money uh, and uh, obviously a quick ROI. So basically after you, know, after you go out in there and do that, you're going to be able to build a YouTube rental monopoly and scale limitlessly. limitlessly. I basically just said that, but we're going for lower rental prices. So usually around $200 a month, sometimes even less, $100 a month, but something that's not hard to go out there and sell. I know a lot of people, when they're first getting into SEO, especially obviously client SEO, they don't feel comfortable selling and especially selling higher amount items. I, I remember the first time I tried to sell, you know, a thousand dollar product or something, I just, my heart dropped and I, I couldn't even, my voice dropped, I couldn't even speak, but it, it's hard and it's, it's something you have to learn how to do, but this can be a great way to break into that, selling low, low barrier offers that are just irresistible to the prospect because, you know, they're going to test it out. It's hundred dollars a month. They get to rank on page one, pretty cool stuff. So if it really adds up, if you get a lot of these videos out there, so the name of the game is going after low volume keywords with almost no competition, ranking fast and ranking often. So ranking a lot of videos, there's a, a power and quantity here, not necessarily quality. So quick math for you guys, $200 a month times 15, would be you know $100 a day. And I, I say $100 a day because it seems to be the magic number for people um, who haven't made money with SEO yet. I know it was for me when I first got into it. I set a goal to get to $100 a day. And it was actually with YouTube videos. I think it took 80 something days to get there. And uh, I was ecstatic when I finally got there because you know obviously it's, it's, it's cool to finally um, set a goal and achieve it and have this money coming in on autopilot and you can continue to scale without doing anything else. And obviously I think that's kind of the dream with SEO, at least it is for me, because if, if you can make money without doing work, then that's always a plus. So how are we going to go out there and rank these YouTube videos quickly? That's the big question uh, with this method because the other parts of it are very simple. We're just putting a call tracking number and renting it out to a client for a very cheap monthly amount. So like I mentioned, we're going to be using 301 redirects. So I just have a, a quick screenshot here. I threw up this video a couple days ago, very, very low volume search term, just uh, contractor in Arcadia, Michigan. I think it's ranking for uh, not best independent, but actually just contractor in Arcadia, Michigan and literally ranked in, in I think a day. It's been two days now since it's actually been uploaded, but it was ranking before then. So it works and uh, it works really well. So back in the day, just a quick backstory with YouTube so you understand why this works. There used to be a huge loophole with YouTube and this is how I got started in SEO. And I didn't know this was how I was going to get started, but when you, when you set a goal and you are committed, you find a way to get there. It doesn't matter how you actually get there, but you find a way. And this was my way. I wanted to get to hundred dollars a day with SEO and I found a way, right? So it was with YouTube and here's one of my videos ranking for how to lose weight. No idea what I was doing really. <laughs> I was just kind of throwing stuff around, testing exactly what we've been talking about this whole webinar. And somehow I managed to do that, uh, which was pretty cool, but quick YouTube timeline and why this worked and where we're at now. Basically, obviously, you know, it's a strong web 2.0, just like any other web 2.0 out there. It has very high domain authority, trusted. We can kind of leverage that authority. And with YouTube, the authority has really increased over the years, especially once Google picked it up and they, uh, you know, they now own it. So then it became even more authoritative and people really took advantage of this. 
and I put in, in parentheses there me because I, I really did. And we started spamming YouTube videos with lots of lower quality links, building 30,000 links to a YouTube video and it would rank for a very competitive keyword like how to lose weight. Then a after December 2014, uh, I believe that's the day I was trying to think back. It might be a month or two off, but Google cracks down, you know, on the loophole a little bit, and it becomes harder to rank YouTube videos or really any Web 2.0s for that matter with spammy links. And by spammy links, I mean just going in, in like GSA Search Engine Ranker and building 5,000 links overnight. Right? Does everyone understand that? Give me a five if you do. Okay, cool. Yeah, spammy links could be as simple as literally going to Fiverr and buying uh, a huge package of links, but lower quality links, okay? So anything from, you know, blog comment links and uh, web 2.0 links and article directory links, stuff that you're not really building right now. If you don't know what GSA is, I I'm pretty sure there are some modules in OMG about GSA. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cotton, but um, oh, no, no, I believe there, there are. There is. There is. Yeah, okay. So GSA is just an automated link building tool. Um, very powerful if you know how to use it and if you use it the right way. And it, it allows you to build. If you have you know your operation running the right way, you can build a lot of links fast. Not the highest quality. Again, very low quality links for the most part. But uh, anyways, that's where 301 redirects kind of enter the picture. Because at this point, we can't go out there and build 30,000 links to our YouTube video and rank for how to lose weight uh, because Google kind of cracked down on that. So what we're going to be doing now is leveraging another authority site and using it almost like a coffee filter. Okay, so tinyurl is just a link shortener for the most part. It redirects your links kind of like bit.ly. Um, and it, you know, it's a PR7 domain. So... What it allows you to do is put in your URL. So say you had, uh, for example, dripapps.com. I could go to tinyurl, put it in dripapps.com, and they're going to give me a link, which is just, I can do a 301 redirect, which is a, a permanent redirect. And so when you go to that tiny URL link, it redirects to dripapps.com. So we're going to be leveraging their authority, tiny URL. So instead of our campaign looking something like this where all of our lower quality spammy links, uh, for example, maybe from GSA or um, Fiverr, however you're getting those links straight to the YouTube video, what we're going to be doing instead is building those lower quality links to the tiny URL redirects, which are obviously redirecting to the YouTube video. So give me a four in the chat box if that makes sense. And I'll, I'll break it down a little bit further, but that's basically how this works. Wyatt, not to interrupt you, but guys, if your light bulb hasn't went off yet, and I mean, give me a number three if you're excited about what you're seeing so far. This is a quick way for you to get, make make some money. You see all the threes there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really, really fast, um, something that... For those who, who haven't went out there and made money yet, it can really get you going. And I think this is similar to how I started. Now, it's not something you're going to continue to do forever, but, um, again, just a great way to get started. Or even if you're already making money, you can make these videos in, in 30 minutes or less with the link building campaigns and everything. I'm going to show you how you can even speed that up. But um, you it's know really what? cool you can put these out. You know what, Wyatt? Not to interrupt you, but, guys, if, if Wyatt hasn't blown your mind yet or not, Now's the time. I want you to do a hashtag mind blown for Wyatt right now. Give me, guys, seriously, there's there's 300 plus people on here. We need a minimum of at least 150 of these for Wyatt to continue. Guys, he's he just showed you something that's very, very, very powerful right now that you can start making money with right now, especially if you're new. And guys, it's not breaking the bank, but you know what? If you're a new person right now, but think about other ways that you might be able to pump up other stuff like this. I mean, just don't look at this as one dimensional with like what he's doing. But Wyatt's here on his free time right now. He's like taking you to school, showing you exactly how he's helped a lot of people earn their first few dollars online. And guys, we're not even going to continue until I see at least 150 of these things. So please, Wyatt, I'm looking and it looks like that we're a little 
We still got we still need some more people, guys. Come on. Show Wyatt. There we go, guys. Come on. But uh guys, this is this is what we do, man. Wyatt's come on here. Some amazing stuff. We still they're they're still pouring in, Wyatt. We're almost there, man. Almost there. Almost there. You guys want to see the rest of it or what? i i it doesn't seem like they do at this point. <laughs> I mean I this is I've like never seen the the OMG crowd be this unresponsive before why maybe they don't like you I have I have like no idea maybe they don't like the method and that's fine I'll keep it <laughs> I'll keep it for myself <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right we've like we've like got them pouring in so I yeah, like yeah. I like think we got close to 100 of those please why continue show them exactly what's up all right cool yeah so basically cotton you're right this is this is not a one dimensional thing you can use this method leveraging a, you know tiny url or any similar site like that uh, leverage their authority and use this to boost any web 2.0 really uh, the reason we do it for YouTube videos again this is a, a way that we found to be a really uh, easy way to generate a quick ROI especially for our members out of any methods I've, I've ever taught before I've never seen a higher amount of people go out there and actually bring in paying clients um, so this right here is definitely the winner and that's why I decided to show it tonight so uh, tiny URL is essentially going to act as a coffee filter, like I said, and that takes a hit with the spam. So you're building these lower quality links to the, the tiny URL redirects, and tiny URL kind of takes the hit there, and then they pass on the, the clean link juice to the YouTube video. So it's really a, a simple concept, and something I want you to go out there and test because it's not going to cost you more than $10 to get this going. So you might as well test it out see how it works for you, throw up a few videos, you can't go wrong. And that's why it's so great. So we recommend creating about 100 to 150 uh, tiny URL links for each YouTube video and then running some kind of GSA link building campaign to all those new URLs. So you create these redirects, you have this huge list of tiny URL links and then you build more links, tier two links, right to those uh, tiny URL links. So it's, it's really simple. But obviously, no one wants to manually create 150 redirect links. At least I don't want to, especially if I'm only going to make $200 a month off of the video. So what I've done, uh, or rather what my partner has done, uh, because I wouldn't know how to do this, is create a simple little tool. It's just basic web page. But uh, if you go to 301.dripapps.com, and this should be working, but basically what we've done is just make a, a simple little um, application here where it goes in tiny URL and creates all of those redirect links. So if you put in a URL here for a YouTube video, so I'll go ahead and grab one really quickly. So I just grab this YouTube link. This would be the video that you want to rank. You grab this link and you just put it right in here and you put the amount of tiny URL links, URL links that you want. Um, there's a limit to 200 that we set on here just so the like, server doesn't get bogged down or anything like your crash or anything like that. But uh, I'm just going to set it as five for an example. You just click start. And as you can see, we now have five tiny URL links. So really easy. These links, all they're going to do is 301 redirect right to the YouTube video. Really simple stuff. So these links right here, all you would do is paste them into a text file and you would build links to these. So for example, if I didn't have GSA, I could just go straight to Fiverr. I could copy these links, go to Fiverr and buy some kind of package. Um, let's see what we can find here. Uh, but again, I'm going for quantity over quality. I don't have any uh, great gigs in mind, uh, so don't take the gig I pick and use it. Do your research. I don't have anything that I really want to recommend, but uh, I'm just going to grab a random one here just as an example. So let's say this one, 6,000 links. I don't know. I would I definitely want to do some research or use a seller that I have in the past, but I would purchase this for $5, give them the tiny URL links that this generated, and build links to that. If you have GSA, even easier. 
you just load it up into a list, put it in GSA, and build links right to these. And that's all we're doing to rank these YouTube videos. It's extremely easy and it works. So give me a, uh, a five in the chat box if you understand that and you think it's cool. Hey, Wyatt, what's that URL again? Yeah, the URL is 301.dripapps.com. Why don't you go ahead and put it in the uh, chat box? And we just put this up, so hopefully it doesn't crash or anything. Right. Guys, this is some this is some powerful stuff here, guys. You know, I like – give me number seven if, if you've even got more ideas than what he's just shown you of what you can do with this. Exactly. Guys, now what I want to make it very, very, very clear to you and why it will even tell you this as well, you can try this, but this is working right now. And you know what? If you need to make money right now, this is what you'll do. I don't want you to use this on your money sites long term. And even why it will tell yeah, you. No, no, no. Right. No, definitely not. Right. I, I mean, yeah, if you, you want, want to use this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, you got it. Yeah. You, you know, you want to use this to make money and know that that the window is going to close on it. So that's what this is, is a way to show you why it showed you a loophole right now that works. You can use to get rankings quickly. You know, if you need to do a churn and burn affiliate site, this might be a good way to do it. So there's like other ways. Derek, are you back yet, man? I don't think Derek's back yet. So I was going to say Derek has a lot of, a lot of stuff he does with 301s also. So guys, this is pretty powerful stuff. So guys, if, if you've appreciated that Wyatt's came on here, if you'd even like Wyatt to come back or anything else, I want you to give me a hashtag, thanks Wyatt. Thanks Wyatt. Hashtag thanks Wyatt. Guys, we're well over 300 people on here. We've had, I'm, I'm like almost embarrassed for Wyatt. We like normally have a thousand comments on here. We're having a hard time getting anyone to even post anything right now. Thank, thank Wyatt. Wyatt, is there anything else that's, uh, that they need to know about this or that you need to go over, or does this kind of cover everything? No, it's it's a really simple method. Um, I'm trying to see if I have anything else that's important. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, just going out there, and if you want to use this YouTube method, then for the most part, you're just going to be using the strategies in OMG to find those prospects. Um, the, the easiest way is just to look at who's advertising on, the, on Google for that search term and contact them or even people on page two. But uh, it's, it's really simple. You can't go wrong with this. And it's, it's just fun in my opinion, these little things that work. So um, go test it out, try it, throw a video up, a throwaway account and uh, see how it works for you. Sure. It's really cool. It works. Sure. I just want to add a little bit of stuff, guys. I like, no, you're saying, well, how am I going to go out and sell this? Guys, let me ask you a question. Is it easier to sell a video that like goes up that, that you've already got leads coming into a site that you can prove that you've sent leads to or, you know, doing a Facebook business page? What's going to be more valuable over the course of time? And let me ask you this. What better way to intro in to say, hey, not only did I get this ranked, but now let me work on your website. So what, why it showed you is a foot in the door method also. It's a loophole. It works right now. Use it. But it's also getting your foot in the door. This is a form of SEO splitting. So he's just taking it to another level. He's putting up a video. Guys, if you're having a hard time getting your foot in the door or if you're having a hard time giving tangible proof that you can rank and that you can do something and to show a business owner that you can actually make them money, what better way than this? I mean, get, just give me number nine if this is making sense to you. Give me number nine. Uh, right. So what I'm like saying is, is that, you know, there's a lot of people that like go out and, and, and send personalized videos that actually do a site analysis. Well, this is going to take just as much time, maybe even faster. You get the process down. You can get a YouTube video up fairly quickly. And guys, I can tell you this right now. You can actually go to Fiverr. You can write out a script. And you can pay one of the spokespeople to do the video. I don't want you to overthink this. You can get a spokesperson to do the video. They'll do the video for you for like 10, 15 bucks, and they'll talk the whole thing out. You know, if you need a plumber in Detroit, Michigan, you need to go to blah, 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 right here, whatever. Tell them what they say. They'll shoot the video back to you. You get it up. So technically, you could have the same person 
get done 10, 15 videos, upload them all with different accounts, do what Wyatt told you to do, phone calls start coming in, and guess what? You've got your foot in the door. What do you think your chances are of converting them over to SEO? Give me number two if this is making sense. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's that's really good stuff. Super true. And uh, one final thing I want to throw in there. Um, what I like to do when I'm looking for these local niches is just go to Angie's List. Um, I think it's categories. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, if you're just if you can't think of any local niches, just go to Angie's List service categories, and you literally just have tons and tons of different service niches here. So if if you have no idea what to go out there and write a YouTube video for, well, now you have hundreds of ideas right here. Guys are, guys are getting a lot of questions. Don't overthink this. You either do it the way Wyatt showed you or you don't. Don't worry about, does this go by OMG's way of teaching? Guys, you're in OMG. I am one of the coaches to teach you an OMG. This is an OMG. So we're like getting a lot of questions like, is this, is this an OMG? You're in OMG right now, and it's in OMG. So yes, it is OMG. We've already looked through this. Don't overthink this, guys. Don't overthink this. Just do it if you do. But here's another thing that you can do also. Do you guys think that you might be able to pump up some social profiles like this? Give me a number five if some light bulbs aren't going off there. I mean, guys, Wyatt just kind of opened up the door for you pretty huge here with, like, what he's shown you. You know, and once again, this is testing. It's testing. You can see what happens if you do it. Test it. Yep. So, you know, find out what happens. Maybe it works. You know, you pump up a lot of social like this and get, you know, guys, use your head, use your brain, use your ideas. Just don't overthink it. So w with that, we will have a couple questions. Uh, no, guys, do not do this on existing client videos. I would not do that. So I'm like seeing – be do this for yourself and know that this loophole can close. That's it. This isn't a long-term method. This is something for you to make money right now. So guys, while we've got Wyatt on here and while he's still here, do you have any questions about this? Anything that he can better explain for you? Con, I, th I think you gave a really good example of how you could use this, uh, you know, with your SEO splitting something using that strategy you know you can take something that's short term like this mm -hmm. and turn it into something that's very long term and right. can produce a lot of income for you so just it's a tool it's i gave yeah. you a tool so you really have to think about how you can use it and leverage it uh to fit your business or your strategy sure uh it, it says could this be used for launch jacking sure why absolutely why why like why, why like couldn't it be you know if that's, you know that's a perfect thing. right why, I mean, that's a perfect way where you can make money with a video right there. Uh, you, you know, just take a video, put it up for a bunch of launch jacking sites. And if you guys don't know what launch jacking is, dig into OMG. Guys, I, I might know you get overwhelmed, you know, that there's over 700 hours worth of content. But dig into OMG. Yes, it can be used for launch jacking. It can be used hey, for Con, a lot of things. Yes. Can I throw in something here real quick because I'm seeing a bunch of the same questions? Yes, go ahead. Hey, I wanted to show something, a video on YouTube. Would it be easier for me to take presenter or just tell Wyatt what the keyword is? Uh, go ahead and take presenter. All right. Well, actually, can you give it to me? I'm not no. sure if I'm – You can You can just right-click on yourself and give it to yourself. I'll make, right. I'll make you a presenter. Yeah, well, I just – because I, when I signed back in, I wasn't sure yeah. if it was doing it right. All right. Guys, give me a one if you can see my screen. Not yet. All right. Now we can. Got All it. right. So what I wanted to show you real quick, because there's a ton of questions in here about the video, okay? So um, this is not an existing client. This is actually an old client of mine from a long, long time ago. But um, if you type in Frisco moving into YouTube, you're going to find this video. And so um, I'm, let me I – I can't turn off the sound. Hold on. Let me play this real quick, and I'm going to turn off the sound on the video really fast, hopefully, okay, so it doesn't blow away the speakers, okay? But um, I don't know how clearly you can see my screen right now, but this video cost me $5. Okay, on Fiverr, it was five dollars. You know, they go, they they find the site. You know, you give them a URL and they go to the site and they make a video. Um, and again, is this going to win any awards? No. 
but you know this is this was for a services business you know if you wanted to make it more sales pitchy you know and again kind of back to the old don't overthink it guys five dollars five dollars is all you need okay and you can have these one of these put together in you know a day on Fiverr mm-hmm Good stuff. So, you know, again, this is not going to win any awards, but I think, you know, everybody looking at it would agree that it's it's fine for what we're looking about, what we're looking to do. Right. Absolutely. Because there's, there's, there's a lot of useful things that like Fiverr can be used for. One of the funniest things in the world is give me a number two if you have went to St. Louis SEO and, and seen my YouTube video there. Give me a number two. There's There's some twos there. Guys, I didn't even want to put that video up. I like made that video. I recorded the audio from my iPhone because literally, if you'll look at when I uploaded that, I signed up for OMG January 15th, 2014. Look at when the video was uploaded. I was in my first 30 days of OMG. I didn't have a freaking clue. And you know what I did? I recorded the audio onto my iPhone. <laughs> And I just pieced a bunch of stuff together, a bunch of common videos together, and got it up and going. And there it sits. There it sits right now. Uh, boom. Just right, right where it is. Give me one if you can see my screen. Or if, or if I've got the screen back. Great. Let's let go there. I got it. I, I got to show you guys because this is funny. I, I didn't even want to put this up because I thought it was so hideous. But look, it's right here. February 1st, 2014, 14 days after I had joined OMG, didn't even know how to build a WordPress site or do anything. And there's number one, this is me, number two. I you know, I haven't done anything to this in a long time. I just might as well spank him out of the way just for something to do. So, Guys, if you watch this video, to me, it is the most hideous video ever, but it's brought me more business than anything ever. Just take action, guys. Take action. Just take 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 action. I'll even bring up the video here. It, 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 is, it, is, it, is, it is ridiculous. And, and all I did was, I like, think I went to videoblocks.com, and they had it, and I was so broke that they had a seven-day uh, that you get to try it out seven days for free. And I just pieced all of these videos together and just edited it together and just threw it up. I was done in literally in, in, in like 45 minutes. And this is how I like did it. And I started doing this for clients. And uh, this is how I like started to make my first money because I ranked a YouTube video also and I put it up there. So, so guys, just don't overthink this sort of stuff. Just don't overthink it. So what I'm saying is, guys, if you found this to be helpful, we're going to keep it short and tight tonight. I like know we normally go for hours and hours on these, but I like Think Wyatt brought it home tonight. Uh, guys, once again, if you haven't had a chance to think Wyatt, he's on here right now. Let me go to the Facebook group, and uh, let's just do Mike Long gave Wyatt this nickname, Wyatt Riot. I, I know Wyatt probably hates it. <laughs> right guys I, I'm, I'm letting mike have that one because he was really excited about that yeah guys let's like get it done Let, let's do hashtag wyatt right let's let him feel welcome that he could come back here guys Wyatt has been an omg for quite a while he just kind of stays in the background and hopefully we're going to get him back on when he uh you know and some of you might even be responsible for being an omg because of Wyatt. Wyatt's brought hundreds of people into omg also and we were excited to have him here today. He has delivered as he promised he would. And Wyatt, thank you very much. Uh, amazing course. But not only that, I, I just think that it's the people just need to look even further with the lesson you just taught. The use for SEO splitting. It could be used as an entry in the door method to take a long-term SEO client. How can they not talk to you if you've already been sending them free leads? How can they not? How can they not? So use the method. Use it for whatever else you want to use it for. But, uh, guys, we're going to keep it short and tight. Next week, guys, I would love to be able to tell you I know what we're going to do. But uh, I am going to be a – give me a number three if you guys know uh, what Network Empire is. It's going to be stupid if no one does it. Be <laughs> <laughs> right. Guys, next week uh, I'm going to be with Fletch, Mike Hayden, and Jimmy Kelly and Network Empire Certification their $20,000 uh, SEO training course. And 
I'm going to say that with, 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 and they don't know it yet or not, but more than likely I will be live next week and I'll set it up for Fletch, myself, Mike Hayden, and Jimmy to all be on the assimilation webinar next week live from Phoenix, Arizona from Networks Empire Certification where we're all going to go together and see if we can't just tear Google apart for seven straight days. So uh, that's where I'll be at next week. So we'll do something special for the webinar live there. Maybe we'll get Sue and Russell on as well and uh, have a massive live webinar there. So Derek, any last words, my friend? Uh, no, it uh, was a pretty good webinar. Absolutely. I'm glad I was here. So. Sure. Do you have do you have anything to add on those 301 redirects we were talking about? It means you're the 301 master. Uh, uh, no, I mean you did a pretty good job. I mean you might want to send some uh, drip in some uh, likes and uh, social at the same time and sure. get video views. It helps a lot too. So there you go. And Derek, how would you go about doing video views? Uh, there's another fiber gig there. Just uh, um, just look up Google uh, YouTube views, and there's I think there's about a dozen or so that are pretty good. Okay, so you're even saying that a kid could could even make it more juicy, add some videos and some likes and some yeah, yeah some views. Good. Just don't do too many, otherwise you right. get the uh, 301 um, block right. thing with the gall or whatever. Cool, great. So guys, Derek Wasiak speaks. You need to listen. <laughs> Steven, any, anything to add before you go? Yeah, man. Um, this doesn't happen very often, but I'd like to thank you for having Wyatt on and uh, all the other guests that you're having. I, I'm in, I'm I'm very honored to be able to participate, you know, as as a presenter on some of these. Mm -hmm. But boy, as an OMG member, I can't tell you how much value I'm getting from the assimilation webinars. It's just thank fantastic. You. So uh, I, I'd like uh, I'd like a hashtag thanks Cotton. Uh, if anybody agrees with me on that, because you know, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be having Wyatt on today. So, uh, thanks, thanks for that. Well, you know what, Stephen, I could have went through you to get Wyatt if I didn't know Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, guys, once again, coming up over the next three months, Wyatt, this is going to be news to you also. The creator of Simrush, creator of Majestic SEO, creator of Link Research Tools, are all going to be guests on the Simulation Webinar within the next few weeks. So we're getting all of that lined up. So uh, you, you know what, Wyatt, if you ever want to be a guest on one of those and pick these guys' brains, these are obviously some massive software developing guys also. But uh, I was just talking with the uh, creator of Majestic, and he just kind of blew my mind with what uh, Trustflow was. And uh, I was like trying to tell Derek, and I think Derek's, Derek's going to break them apart and uh, probably try to – <laughs> Redesign, <laughs> redesign Majestic as it is. You don't mess with Derek Wasiak and not have consequences. Yeah. Actually, Jimmy's got something in the works for that already. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So uh, absolutely, guys. So uh, glad you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back next week live from Phoenix, Arizona. Fletch and I, Mike Hayden, Jimmy Kelly, all from Network Empire Certification. See, Wyatt, any last words for you, my friend? I'm going to leave you with the last words before we part. I think we covered everything. A lot of good stuff tonight. I had I had fun. So thanks guys for having me on. Cotton, Derek, Stephen, it was fun. Um, guys, thanks thanks for coming. Thanks for staying, hanging out. Um, you know I was honored honored to speak, and I'm always uh, eager to come back. So thanks a lot. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Great. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. See ya. <laughs>